Am I the butthole for asking my dad why he thinks his drugs are more important than mine? I'm female, 17. I have a heart condition that requires medication that isn't cheap. It's just me and my dad at home, and my dad earns well, the bills are always paid, I have what I need, but he's got an expensive drug habit. Usually, he makes sure my meds are got first but I guess this month he forgot. I asked him yesterday how he was going to get my medication after realizing how overboard he went, and he said he didn't know and that it was time I figured it out. I reminded him I'm 17, with no job and this could turn into a life or death thing fast. He repeated that it's time for me to find a way. This went back and forth for a while, eventually I could see the guilt in his face and I snapped so why in the name of God do you think your drugs are more important than mine? Do you just not give an F whether I live or die at this point? I felt really bad about this, so I left to stay with a friend. My dad texted me this morning and apologized for the way he's acted and the problem he caused, but he said I'm in butthole for the things I said to him last night. He thinks I should have been more considerate towards his issues and not think so selfishly. Am I the butthole? Edit, thank you so much for the overwhelming response. Just a few things, the medication isn't fully approved yet, hence why we've to pay out of pocket. No. I will not be accepting any form of help from anyone offering, but thank you so much for even offering in the first place. I will not be calling protective services or the police on my dad. I'm slightly anti-cop and this is the first slip up he's made to this extent, if it does happen again I will be looking for somewhere else to live. I will definitely be taking a look into some of the resources people have mentioned in the comments, as well as ringing my doctors to see what can be done. And lastly, if you want me to answer something directly, Please drop a message or you slash me so it sticks out as I'm having trouble getting around to all the comments. Edit 2, please do not refer to my dad as a junkie. Also, a few people have asked when the issues that are here started. About 4 years ago after my mother died, he was always a weed smoker but her death sent him down a nasty spiral that he hasn't managed to pull himself out of. Not the butthole. His issue is that he's an addict. He is feeding his addiction potentially at the cost of your life, and most definitely at the cost of your trust. You were well within your rights to call him out, and you should continue to do so. As for your meds, is it possible to talk to your mother or any other family members for support? Being addicted is a legitimate issue and mental health problem. It doesn't really matter that it is self-inflicted. What makes dad tie is what he said about original poster figuring it out. Original poster is 17. They don't need to figure things out, dad needs to. Also the dad is a huge offer telling the original poster that they're selfish when this is literally life and death for them. The dad is selfish and needs to get help with his addiction, so he can help original poster and provide the life-saving medicine until original poster is actually able to handle it themselves when they're older and financially earningable. You're so selfish for wanting to be able to have your meds designed so that your heart doesn't implode and you don't die. You're so selfish for wanting to stay alive. Mom? You're so selfish to suggest I should give up my recreational drugs just so you can remain alive. Sounds like dad has a huge addiction problem if he is unable to prioritize his daughter's life-saving meds over his own recreational needs, and even furthermore, considering he's calling his daughter selfish for thinking her meds are more important. If I was original poster, I'd be reaching out to Nana to see if I could stay with her for a while while Dad gets the help he obviously needs. Agreed. It's really sad from top to bottom. Original Poster's father has come to the point where his addiction is turning him into a monster. Original Poster I'd seriously see if there's a way to get out until your dad chooses to get help. Not the butthole. Original Poster's father has come to the point where his addiction is turning him into a monster. I mean, that could just be original poster's father's personality. Sometimes an addict's selfish behavior is separate from the addiction itself. Armchair psychologist here. The dad knows he is being selfish and shoved that on original poster to deflect his guilt. Not just a butthole, a toxic, dysfunctional ah. Actual social worker slash therapist here. I'm also not going to armchair diagnose, but when someone makes statements like your A, insert particular characteristic here, it should be your job to, insert task here, they're not just trying to offload a task. They're absolving themselves from the guilt they feel for not having done the right thing. 
This is a fairly common but maladaptive coping mechanism. I saw this a lot when I worked in foster care. A lot. Dad is upset because original poster served him a big helping of home truths. As an addict in recovery and the adult child of addicts in recovery, the two things, original poster's health condition and the father's addiction, are not on the same level. I understand original poster's situation from two sides, both as an adult with an addiction and mental health issues and formerly as a child whose medical needs went unmet and neglected by my parents prioritizing their addictions. The father can seek help for his addiction, if he hasn't already. Original poster is in treatment for his health problem, and it involves the medicine original poster's father considers less of a priority than his drugs, which are not medicine to him. One of these things is not like the other. If original poster's father doesn't get his drugs, or enough of them, he has other options. Original poster does not. Original poster's father is an adult. Original poster is still, legally, a child and the responsibility, legally and morally, of the father. Also, addiction being a legitimate medical and mental health condition doesn't preclude an active addict from being a bad parent. I have a prescription that I need for a healthy, continuing life. So does my kid. Guess whose Rx gets filled first? Regardless of your views on addiction slash mental health, dad is putting himself before his kid, and that it is not okay. He's also the butthole for prioritizing his own habit over his child's need for life-saving medication, as well as the manipulative and gaslighting you need to stop being so selfish. He was the selfish one, not her. You are right that addiction is a legitimate issue, I'm an addict myself, I know only too well the intricacies involved. But addiction isn't an excuse. It goes some way towards explaining things, but it doesn't magically erase all the other wrongdoings he's guilty of. His daughter is resolutely not the butthole in this situation, the dad is. I agree that addiction is a legitimate issue, but he is not owed protection from the consequences of his behavior because of that. Addiction and mental health issues do not absolve us off the harm we may do. What original poster said was valid, what dad didn't like is how facing that truth is making him feel. Edit, for clarity because autocorrect. What makes dad the A is that he is apparently not trying to do anything about his addiction. Being addicted may be a legitimate issue and mental health problem but making it a problem for your kid by not trying to get help is not legitimate. He is the butthole and apologizing and saying he's sorry does not in any way excuse him. Original poster replies. I lost Satan's phone number so can't speak to my mom about it, but I've asked my nana, and she was able to give me a tenor towards them. Are you in the UK? Sorry your use of tenor made me think you might me. If so then your prescription should be free if you are 18 or under and in full-time education. If they aren't free you should look into getting a prepayment certificate. This allows you to pay a yearly fee of about £100, can be split into 10 direct debits, and get all your prescriptions for the year with that. If you only have one prescription per month it's the same price but the advantage for you is that once it's paid for it's done for the year s you don't have to ask again. Depending on your family income you may also be able to qualify for free slash reduced cost by filling in a HC1, 2 or 3 form. I hope this helps, thought obviously only if you are in the UK. Yeah, this here. I get the feeling this brand new account, with this story, are bullcrap. Original poster is claiming meds cost £140 but I'm finding this real hard to believe between children getting free medication and people accessing prepaid certificates. Any chemist or GP would have told them to get a certificate when they first got this med that cost that much to fill. I think this is a BS. There are plenty, and I mean plenty, of meds in the UK that won't be given on NHS prescription, because the government deems them too expensive. If the patient gets them, it's because the patient went private. I can do a quick search if you want proof of that, but occasionally a story will hit the media, along the lines of, my, relative, is dying of, incurable disease, and the NHS won't let him have, proven medication, because it's too expensive. Edit, sorry, I don't mean that you're wrong about the account and story being fake, I only think that the idea that the NHS is the funnel for every medication and it's practically free, etc., isn't really the whole story. I'm also in the UK, and I can't see a heart medication that a tenor would help to by being on the list of too expensive meds. Just wanted to clear that up. 
Not the butthole. You simply stated the obvious. The way you describe it, your dad's drugs aren't required to save his life, right? Because he went overboard it comes off that way. 17 is still a minor and your parents shouldn't treat you like you're an independent adult. Hell I'm in my 40s and if I needed life-saving drugs my dad would still buy them for me. Same here, I'm 32 and if I had to ask my parents for help with my life-saving meds they would be there for me, no question. Hell if I had to ask my friends for help with life-saving meds I'd find a Venmo payment from a random person I don't know for more money than I asked for and all my friends would play dumb about it, so I wouldn't feel bad or know who contributed what. This is literally the definition of an addict, if original poster's father is making decisions, about his drug habit, that is affecting others negatively then he is addicted to them. Life-saving medication should never be a lower priority than his drugs but right now they are. Original poster needs to push this home as a red flag to his father. We got burglarized and all our meds were stolen. My parents offered to pay for replacements if the insurance wouldn't. I'm 38. Not the butthole. As a minor, and if these are life-saving drugs, I would suggest contacting the manufacturer, explaining your circumstances, and see if they offer any discounts. It's a little known fact but most do. I second this. I am on two medicines that are $100 each per month with insurance. The manufacturers have a savings card online and using that it brings it down to $0 a month. Original poster should look online or call the company and see what they can do. This is in crap situation and original poster really shouldn't have to do this as a minor but since dad sucks, it may be worth looking into. Yes. My meds are over 5k a month without insurance and has a $150 copay with insurance. Every version I have been on has a discount plan that takes it to less than $10 per month. Original poster sorry to ask, but what type of drugs does he take? Medically necessary or recreational, borderline illegal? Original poster replies. Depends on what mood he's in on the day. Recreational but illegal. No medical need for a load of speed on a Friday night. Ah, gotcha. In either case you are not the butthole whatsoever, but even more so now I know these are drugs drugs and not medication drugs, he has zero excuse. Your dad is selfish. Yeah, no. Your father is not a good parent. Not the butthole. Don't apologize for the truth. Recreational drugs are any drugs that aren't considered for a medical purpose. It's not an endorsement, it's just a category. Not the butthole but please do put all your energy into finding a backup way to get your pills and a new place to live. You shouldn't have to find a way to get your own pills, but sadly your father has shown where your life-saving pills are on his priority list. Maybe your doctor can offer you a cheaper alternative, or a manageable payment option? Perhaps your friend's parents would let you stay there until you're 18? Not the butthole, however how do you stay safe? Your doctor may know how to get free or lower cost meds to you. But then he may file a child neglect report. I wish I could promise that if state services got involved he would be forced into rehab. But this is a thorny problem. Original poster replies. Don't do any form of physical exercise whatsoever, don't drink any tea at all, no salt or sugar. Had to do it once when we couldn't leave the house at all. Not the most pleasant. That is not a long-term solution. You are technically indigent. There are ways of getting your medical support but there might be consequences of that. What the actual F hash and dollar, no, you're absolutely not the butthole. You're only 17, still a child. Your father has a duty to put your needs before his wants at least for the next year. But I can't imagine my parent cutting me off from life-saving medicine no matter what age I am. The fact that your father tried to justify all this by saying it's your problem slash responsibility since you're 17 is absolutely disgusting. Not the butthole. Updated with more info. Your dad is an addict and is using over trying to take care of your needs. If you have a mom or someone else you can live with I would look at my options. Last thing you need to do is enable his drug addiction. Not the butthole and oh my goodness. Are you sure you can be living with him? Do you have a place to stay aside from the house when he's using? 
I'm just. What if something happened to you when he was high? He's your dad. You're 17. How does he expect a minor with a chronic condition to work in this pandemic? On short notice? That's so irresponsible. Gosh I hope you're doing okay and you have enough. You're the butthole. You're UK based from your comments. Prescription medication is free for juveniles or those in full-time education in the UK. Even for adults it costs £9 a prescription. So you are lying and therefore the butthole. If I'm wrong on where you are from, please correct me. Getting some bullcrap vibes from this one to be honest. Facts. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube and share them with your friends. We welcome your comments below. Press to start another of our videos.